Hey y'all, it is Ariel again and I am back uh, with a, another episode from the uh, Next Gen team. It has been amazing. I hope and pray that you enjoyed the first episode which we talked about intentionally investing in yourself, being an intentional investment. And so as we talked about being an intentional investment, you made that moment to say, hey, I'm going to invest in myself. So I also understand that there are times where you are the person that is always helping and always investing in other people. I can see you raising your hand right now. You know that you are always encouraging others, uplifting others. You might be buying that shirt from, you know, your 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 friend that might be selling clothes or you're constantly supporting somebody else. You say, where is that person that's going to help support me? That's going to help uh, maybe finance my dreams or be able to encourage me when I need that encouragement. Well, today, on today, we're going to be able to encourage the encourager. You have been helping people. You have been giving them props. You might have been supporting them. And so on today, we're just going to take these few moments uh, and to be able to help encourage the the encourager there are so many different things as far as relationships are concerned that we're going to probably talk about in one of our episodes a little bit down the line but there are so many things in relationships that we have to be able to understand that we have to be able to encourage one another one of the great um the late dr miles my bro he had a quote and i'm gonna share it with you he says healthy relationships should always begin at the spiritual and intellectual levels the levels of purpose motivation interests dreams and personality that was by dr mons monroe in the waiting and dating book man so good and so as you enter into healthy relationships i don't know about y'all but 2020 it's been a whole year right and so you have maybe assessed some relationships maybe built some new relationships you're like wait a minute i want to be able to be encouraged uplifted what does that look like and i'm telling you i'm here to encourage you on today that i'm going to be praying that god be that god will be able to send you a person that not only to uplift you but to be able to encourage you in your dreams and your vision and your business that's what i'm going to be praying for you on today uh that's what we all want we all want to be loved we all want to be able to have people to support and root us on now mind you this is the thing as you know as we go on in life we should be able to you know just do it and be encouraged be able to encourage yourself and which is true is which we should do encourage ourselves but it definitely helps when you know you have that friend or that sister or that brother to be able to encourage you uh to encourage you you know along the way along the path of your journey so i want to be able to encourage you to say keep pushing whatever it is that you're supposed to do we talked about returning on investment and knowing your why and your purpose for why god has put you here i'm here to encourage you to say do just that whatever it is it might be you going to get that degree it might might be you know you opening that business or whatever it is i'm encouraging you to keep pushing don't stop don't quit man if anything i know i think i saw a quote might have been on instagram or something it said if you survive 2020 like man that was it like you got through 2020 we can handle like so much more so you're getting through keep pushing through and uh the best is yet to come so be encouraged share this with somebody they might need a little bit of encouragement and this what i know will bless them i can't wait to see y'all on the next episode of next gen make sure that you can continue to be inspired by promise and as well as make sure that you are building generational wealth for not only you but your entire family i'll see y'all in the next episode bye y'all